Hi everyone. Welcome to this video about the Spanish armored cruiser Cardinal Cisneros. Named after the influential statesman and Cardinal Francisco Jiménez de Cisneros, this warship was one of Spain's attempts to modernize its navy in the wake of the Spanish-American War. Part of the Princesa de Asturias class, Cardinal Cisneros was an improved version of earlier designs, incorporating stronger armor protection and heavier armament. Designed primarily for colonial defense and fleet support, the cruiser reflected a transitional period in naval architecture, balancing firepower, protection, and speed in a pre-dreadnought era. The ship displaced around 7,000 tons and was powered by triple expansion steam engines, giving her a top speed of approximately 20 knots. She was equipped with a mixed battery of main and secondary guns, including two 240mm, 9.4-inch main guns mounted in single turrets fore and aft. Her design, with its distinct blend of traditional and modern elements, offers valuable insights into the evolution of armored cruisers during a time of rapid technological change. In this video, we'll explore the ship's layout, her technical specifications, and examine the original blueprints that reveal the details of her construction. Before we dive deeper into the design and construction of this ship, let us say a few words about the man whose name it bears. Francisco Jiménez de Cisneros, more commonly known as Cardinal Cisneros, was one of the most influential figures in Spanish history at the dawn of the modern era. A Franciscan friar, he rose to become Archbishop of Toledo, Primate of Spain, and even served twice as the Regent of the Crown of Castile during times of political uncertainty. He played a key role in governing the country during two critical transitions. First, in 1506-1507, he presided over the Council of Regency after the death of King Philip the Handsome, awaiting the return of Ferdinand the Catholic. Then again, from 1516 to 1517, he took control following King Ferdinand's death, while the young Charles I prepared to assume the throne. Cardinal Cisneros was deeply involved in nearly all major affairs during the reign of the Catholic monarchs. He was a reformer by nature, determined to restore moral and intellectual discipline within the church, which had fallen into decline. He understood that any meaningful reform had to begin with education. Though not a scholar himself, he founded one of the most important institutions in Spanish cultural history, the University of Alcalá, often known as the Cisnerian University. He also provided it with a remarkable library, rich in texts on natural sciences, reflecting his belief in learning as the foundation for renewal. The ship named in his honor carries not only his name, but a legacy of reform, intellect, and service to the Spanish crown. The armored cruiser Cardinal Cisneros was part of a broader naval modernization effort led by Admiral Alejandro Rodriguez Arias y Rodolfo. Her construction was authorized by the Spanish Cortes on January 12, 1887, as part of a plan to rebuild the fleet after years of stagnation and growing international pressure. Originally, these ships were to follow the same design as the Infanta Maria Teresa class. However, due to delays in the construction of this second trio, Spanish naval engineers had time to revisit and revise the plans. This led to a new subclass, with significant changes in armament layout and armor protection, resulting in what became known as the Cardinal Cisneros class. On November 6, 1895, the Naval Advisory Board decided to reduce the caliber of the main battery from the originally intended heavier guns to a more manageable 240 mm. This decision aimed to standardize ammunition logistics, improve rate of fire, and reduce top weight. In exchange, armor protection was enhanced, particularly around the secondary battery, a reflection of the growing threat posed by fast torpedo boats and cruisers in close engagements. 
Cardinal Cisneros had a displacement of around 6,888 tons, and a length of approximately 110 meters. She was powered by two triple expansion steam engines, driving twin screws, with steam provided by 12 cylindrical boilers. This propulsion system gave her a maximum speed of about 20 knots, respectable for her time and sufficient for fleet operations and overseas deployment. Her armament consisted of two 240mm main guns, mounted in single turrets fore and aft. The secondary battery included 10 140mm 5.5-inch guns housed in casemates, supplemented by smaller quick-firing guns for defense against torpedo boats. She was also equipped with torpedo tubes, a common feature on cruisers of this era, though rarely decisive in battle. Armor protection included a belt up to 300 mm thick amidships, tapering toward the ends, with armored decks and gun turrets providing additional shielding. While she did not match the protection levels of contemporary battleships, she was more heavily armored than most foreign cruisers of similar size. The keel of Cardinal Cisneros was laid down on September 1, 1890, at the Royal Shipyards of Estero in Ferrol. She was launched on March 19, 1897, and after a prolonged period of fitting out, she was finally delivered to the Spanish Navy on March 30, 1903. After her launch, the Cardinal Cisneros spent most of her short career accompanying royal visits and participating in naval exercises. From August 1 to 15, 1902, the ship underwent sea trials. On October 23 of that year, she ran aground in front of the Campana dock at the Farol Arsenal. Fortunately, the incident was not considered serious, and the vessel was refloated safely with the rising tide. On June 22, 1903, the Cardinal Cisneros took part in a fleet gathering in Cartagena for a visit by King Alfonso XIII. She was joined by the cruisers Carlos V, Princesa de Asturias, and Extremadura, the battleships Pelayo and Numancia, and the destroyer Audos. Between April and May 1904, the ship accompanied the royal yacht Giralda, which was transporting the king on a tour of various Spanish ports. On January 13, 1905, the Cardinal Cisneros, along with the Pelayo, Carlos V, Princesa de Asturias, Extremadura, Rio de la Plata, and the yacht Infanto Isabel, gathered in Cadiz to welcome the Duke and Duchess of Connaught during their official visit. On February 5, as part of the training squadron, the Cardinal Cisneros anchored at Santa Cruz de Tenerife. In April of that year, the Spanish government assigned the cruiser to render honors to German Emperor Wilhelm II during his stop in Moho, on the island of Menorca. On April 3, the Cardinal Cisneros accompanied the ocean liner Hamburg and the German cruiser SMS Friedrich Karl. Soon after, the cruiser was once again ordered to escort the royal yacht Giralda, this time to the port of Castellon. In June 1905, King Alfonso XIII embarked on a diplomatic tour to France and the United Kingdom. The fleet sailed to the British port of Portsmouth and later returned to Ferrol on the 19th. Later that year, the Cardinal Cisneros was assigned to a naval training squadron conducting exercises in the Galician estuaries. On October 28, while departing from the anchorage at Muros en route to Ferrol for boiler maintenance, the ship struck an uncharted reef approximately 2.6 nautical miles from the Mexidos Shoals. The collision tore open over 50 meters of the ship's hull along the length of the boiler rooms and part of the forward engine room. The flooding could not be contained, and although the damage was catastrophic, the crew had enough time to abandon ship safely. 
The Cardinal Cisneros sank bow first. Due to an oversight by a duty officer who failed to retrieve the ship's logbook before abandoning ship, the exact location of the reef impact remains uncertain. The current carried the ship approximately 2.5 miles from the initial collision site before she finally sank. A naval court-martial later sentenced the ship's captain, Manuel Diaz Iglesias, to one year of suspension for negligence under Article 198 of the Naval Penal Code, specifically for failing to safeguard the ship's logbook. However, he was cleared of any charges related to the loss of the vessel itself. Thanks for watching.